This video tutorial focuses on some of the things you can do after you've installed ShareScan to verify the proper installation of the program. Following these steps will help you catch any issues that could cause problems later on for your customer. Before we get into specific checks that you should run, let's take a moment to discuss the overall ShareScan v5 architecture. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll simplify the system by talking about three basic components, the ShareScan manager, the scanning device, and the SQL database. The heart of the system is of course the ShareScan manager. This is the name we give to the PC or server running the ShareScan administrative software. In the case of a scan station deployment, this is the Nuance supplied PC sitting on the scan station kiosk. For embedded deployments, it will be a customer supplied PC or virtual machine. Regardless, the ShareScan manager is ultimately responsible for communicating with scanning devices, receiving the raw scanned images from them, processing the images, and finally, routing these image files to their final destinations, which could be anything from an email server to a document management system. Looking deeper at a ShareScan manager, we see several services running internally. The Apache Tomcat web service is one such component. Its primary responsibility is to serve up content to embedded ShareScan clients. It also provides the ShareScan simulator interface, which we'll talk more about later. The scanning device itself could be a multifunction device or a simpler departmental or personal scanner, so long as it's a model that ShareScan supports. It's here where users feed their documents and either use the ScanStation touchscreen or the ShareScan embedded client interface to interact with the manager. The SQL component, which can reside either locally or remotely, stores all ShareScan configuration and licensing information. This includes system settings, connector settings, as well as service and extender settings. Because of the reliance of the components on each other, MFP to manager and manager to SQL, you should ensure whenever possible to make sure that the manager has a static IP address assigned to it, and that the PC running SQL has a consistent host name assigned to it. Once licensed, the ShareScan application is tied in part to the host name of the PC running SQL. Changing the host name after the fact would cause the software to stop functioning. If a machine name change is absolutely necessary, consult Nuance support or your technical consultant. Now that we have an idea of all the hardware and software components involved, let's discuss some of the recommended checks you should perform after a typical installation of ShareScan. One of the first things you should verify is that you're running the most current ShareScan service pack for your environment. In some situations, service packs are tied to specific vendors. These service packs provide fixes to reported issues as well as adding functionality to the product, so it's critical that you apply them. Here are two quick ways to check the service pack version. One way is to open the administration console and click on the information icon in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Here you can see manager version 5.0.20923.0, which equates to ShareScan Service Pack 4. Alternatively, you can use the Windows Control Panel Programs and Features option to verify the same information. If you're unsure what the appropriate service pack is for your particular MFP environment and vendor, log on to the eCopy Solutions Provider Network website at http colon slash slash ESPN.ecopy.com. For instances where you're running the eCopy scan station, other software components such as the scan station client and Twain driver should be verified. Both are installed separately from the server components. As before, we can navigate to the Windows Control Panel options and look at our installed programs to verify versions. Here you can see our client version matches our service pack version. The client, if needed, is also accessible on the ESPN website. Depending on the MFP manufacturer involved, the Twain driver will differ. Consult the client-side install section of the ShareScan installation guide for more information on Twain drivers and where to get them. As you know, ShareScan installs a variety of Windows services. To check these services, right-click on Computer or My Computer depending on the operating system and select Manage. Then navigate to Services and pan through the list. 
The version of Apache Tomcat that's installed depends on the service pack installed, but what's more important here is to verify that it's present and running. It governs manager to device communication for embedded installations and also provides the ShareScan simulator interface. If you notice the simulator isn't functional, your first course of action is to double check on the Tomcat service. There are two critical services named ShareScan Agent and ShareScan Manager. The Agent service is a helper service that assists in the configuration of the manager itself. The Manager service communicates with eCopy enabled clients and invokes connectors and services. Both are required to be running for the application to work properly. For those instances where the Scan to Desktop connector is being used, the S2D Inbox Agent service needs to be in place. However, unlike some services, this one will not show as currently running. It will automatically start when it needs to. The Inbox Agent service requires certain network ports to be available. So if you're using this connector, make sure you read the ShareScan installation guide as it lists out the network prerequisites that need to be in place beforehand. The most critical component for ShareScan is SQL. You should be aware now that ShareScan can rely on either a local or remote instance of SQL. SQL stores all of the system, connector, and service configurations along with the licensing information. The easiest way to tell what type of configuration that you're using is to launch the administration console. Navigate to the Advanced tab at the top of the window and select Database, Database Configuration in the drop-down menu. This will show you the current database configuration. The server name field will show the machine name of the SQL server. If this matches the machine name of the PC running the administration console, the database has been configured on the local machine, which is the case here. For more information on SQL database options, Nuance has created a very informative PDF that covers all of the different deployment types. The document can be found on the URL shown on the screen. Nuance will also be posting additional YouTube videos that cover how to configure SQL with eCopy. Since we're using a local instance of SQL, we can very easily check the status of the related Windows services. The three that should be started are SQL Server, SQL Server Browser, and the SQL Server VSS Writer. A good test to see if the ShareScan SQL database tables were created properly is to browse to the data subdirectory of the SQL Program Files folder. On this Windows 7 system, the path is shown on the screen. In this folder, you should look for two files, ecopysharescan.mdf and an associated log or LDF file. Seeing both is a good indication that that part of the install went smoothly. For proper operation, ShareScan requires several TCP and UDP ports to be available. The local Windows firewall, if unmodified, can block many of these ports. During the install, it is recommended that you either unblock the necessary ports or, if agreed upon by the local IT administrator, disable the local firewall. The ports that need to be open are listed in the pre-install checklist or PICL available on the ESPN website. A good practice is to open up a command prompt and enter the netstat-a command to check the open ports on the PC. Use the results to check them against the list of ports in the pickle. If you discover that certain ports are not available, you can always open them using the Windows Firewall Advanced Security options. The ShareScan simulator is invaluable to administrators who need to validate their connector workflows before deploying them live to scanning devices. The simulator can be launched in two different ways and is reliant on the Apache Tomcat web service to function. So being able to successfully launch the simulator is a good indicator that Tomcat is available and working properly. One way to launch the simulator is directly from the home toolbar of the administration console.
Alternatively, you can open up a web browser and enter http colon slash slash 127.001 colon 8080 slash share scan. This should also bring up the simulator. After installation, you can check the Apache Tomcat version by navigating to Windows Control Panel Programs and Features. Keep in mind that the version will vary depending on the ShareScan service pack installed. For SP5 and earlier, the version will be 5.5.25 as shown here. For ShareScan SP6 and newer, the version will be Tomcat version 7. To verify Tomcat's basic operation, simply launch a web browser and enter in the default home page for Tomcat. HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 or HTTP colon slash slash 127.001 colon 8080. You should see a response similar to this. As a related note, if you receive a Tomcat service error 1067, could not start the Tomcat service on the local computer error when you're trying to launch a new share scan, the issue can be related to the Java runtime environment present on the PC. This error can be caused when Java on the PC becomes corrupted due to performing an update while the share scan application is running. If this is the case, you'll need to reinstall the Java component by going to the following website and downloading the appropriate version. ShareScan relies on Java Runtime Environment version 6 update 22. Using any other Java Runtime Environment is not currently supported. It is also recommended to turn off any automatic Java updates to prevent any future failures. Check out the ShareScan installation video tutorial on our YouTube channel if you're unsure how to do this. One tool that can be extremely useful in both pre-install and post-install situations is the ShareScan Troubleshooter tool. It is installed automatically and can be launched by navigating to the path shown below. Note that depending on your manager operating system, your path may be slightly different. Once launched, a drop-down allows you to toggle between pre-install and full checks. A pre-install check is essentially a subset of a full check, and only verifies items that are critical to the actual installation of ShareScan. In this case, you can see I've received several warnings regarding multiple network interfaces and my Windows firewall. If I had run this prior to installing ShareScan, I would address these issues before I proceeded. If I toggle to a full check and rerun it, you can see how I'm supplied with more information beyond the pre-install check, including a full check on services, registry entries, and the health of the SQL database. Get in the habit of using this tool before and after your installs to flag potential issues. The advanced drop-down allows for even more checks. In this case, you can see how we can verify the connection from the ShareScan manager to the SQL database. Although the database happens to be local in this case, the tool could be used to connect to remote instances, so long as you provide location and connection credentials. In addition, there are several network tests available to shed light on whether all of the necessary TCP and UDP network ports are open on the network. For more information about how to run these advanced tests, consult the Troubleshooter Tool user guide that Nuance has published to the Engage portal. You have now learned how to verify that you've had a successful installation of eCopy ShareScan v5. You're ready to configure some ShareScan connectors to route scan documents from your MFP or scanning device to destinations such as email applications or document management systems. Please view our other videos on the Nuance Document Imaging YouTube channel for a quick overview of how to set up some of the most popular eCopy ShareScan connectors.